Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? Have you seen the mailman by any chance? Yes, he was here earlier. He brought your mother some get well cards. Ah, okay. Thanks. See ya. Goodbye, Mr. Michaels. I don't want to just sit here and wait for some news. I can drop by at any time and ask how she's doing. Glossies in a health magazine. Oh well. I'll take the fashion magazine here. Oh, and the auto magazine. Huh. The news of my mother's accident seems to have spread quickly. A couple of people have already sent flowers. and get well wishes. I think she's very active in the community. She's probably got a lot of new friends here. Lots of different people have sent my mother cards. This one's signed P. Huck. Wait a minute. That's the mailman. The mailman signed it. So now I've got a sample. I think I could forge his signature really well. The signature is kinda half decent. Rosie, harder work I see. What do you want? I wanted to pick up Fuller's package with the photo paper. <sighs> no, please. Hmm. So how did you manage to scare up the old fart? Yeah, I bumped into him in the town. You were lucky. Here, Fuller's photo paper. Huh. The bimbo reads fashion magazines. Why is she doing that here? I uh, excuse me, ma'am. Oh, it's you, the hoodlum from this morning. Yeah, well, I was in a rush. An important job to do. No reason to be impolite. Of course not. I've noticed you're really into those fashion magazines. Are you a model? Me? <laughs> no. You're joking. Y you must have at least thought about becoming a photo model. Actually, I have been approached. Oh, well, that goes without saying. You see, uh... <clears throat> I work for a magazine from down south. Ladies in Chrome? I've never heard of it. It's the high society magazine in the South. The magazine for the top 10,000. I'm working on a piece about life and style in the far North. Really? How exciting. Maybe you have some recent photos. I'd love to show our readers what fine taste people up here in the North have. This is your stylish convertible, right? It is. And I'd be happy to be at your disposal for your story. But I don't have any photos. That shouldn't be any problem. There's an excellent photographer in town, isn't there? Fuller? You can't be serious. That savage would never be able to like me properly. Oh, so you don't know. What don't I know? Who Fuller really is. He's an internationally renowned star photographer from New Zealand. He's been living here incognito for a few years. He's working on his life's work. 
He's uh, documenting normal folks' lives here in America. Uh, of course, he's got to stay unrecognized to do that. That's... No, I can't believe that. I swear, in a few years, when, when he's finished his work, it'll be the photographic sensation of the decade. I... I can't believe it. Uh, show me some of his pictures, then we'll see. Well, uh, um... All right, then. Uh, but, but don't run away. No way. My God, what a lame story. <laughs> but vanity has always been the biggest weakness for those kind of folks. If I can show her a few reasonable photos, then perhaps she'll lure Fuller out of the shop for me. got a few of Fuller's earlier works. Really? Show me. Which pictures are by him? Um, oh, that one there. Uh, oh, and there too. Oh, and here's another one. Exactly. Yep, that one here. They're really wonderful. It was all just for the money. In reality, he's an artist, you see. But the project here in Biddeford is his real passion. Living incognito amongst us common folks, working on his masterpiece. Can you imagine what an effort it must have been for such a cultivated and refined man like Fuller to play a, a primitive, stinking, sweaty asshole? That's true art. You should call him. He, he could photograph you in your car up on the clifftop. Now? Yeah. Oh, oh, unfortunately, I've got to hurry, my lady. Uh, I've got a deadline to meet in Dallas, you see. Oh, of course. I'll call from my car phone and arrange a photo shoot. Oh, excellent. Uh, oh, but don't let him realize that you know his true identity. Who knows what that do to his artistic spirit. I understand. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Shall we meet here again this evening? Agreed. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's a postcard of Biddeford, but I first want to see if... That's a postcard, but I first want to see if... That's a postcard, but I first want to see if Fuller has really left the store. I gotta go straight there. to get Angelina's film and develop some pictures in the dark room. It might be that Fuller put the film of Angelina's pictures in the safe before he drove off to his shoot. It might be that... safe is locked. Of course, and even Fuller worked out what a safe is for. The safe is... All right, let's see. But I need to get a move on. Fuller's had a clock built into it, so there's a time limit.
That sounds good. Yes, there you go. is blocking my view of the lower shelves. I can't see what's behind there. Photo developer. Looks like it's been there for a while, but the bottle's still sealed, so it could still be good. Ah, there's the photo developer. in this container. Then the developer fluid is added, and after a short while, the film is developed. locker. Water and all sorts of other liquids have splashed on its door and left their mark. A bottle of distilled water. I'll take that with me. First of all, light off. As long as I don't want to develop any pictures, that doesn't make sense. As long as I don't want to develop any... photos of Angelina. Well, apart from that, there's just a few papers, a folder, and, uh, oh, a pistol. I'd better leave everything where it is. As soon as I've developed the pictures and made copies, I'll pay Angelina a visit in the hotel. I, <laughs> I could really do with a bit of a distraction. All right. Now I've got everything I need to develop the films. Let's go. Oh, 
film with Angelina's pictures on it. I've got to develop it and then make prints from the nags. Then I can take the pictures to Angelina in the hotel. The dish has still got distilled water in it. Now it just needs some developer. I reckon the dilution is okay at that. A bath of diluted developer. I have to lay the exposed paper in the bath until the picture becomes visible. The longer I leave the picture in the developer, the darker it'll get. The film is in the developing drum. The developer's still missing. Good. Now the developer's oxidizing. It gives off electrons, which are then picked up by the silver ions in the light-sensitive layer of the film. The more light that falls on a location, the stronger the reaction. And so the place then turns darker. In short, the film is now being developed. from keeping on developing. Oh well, that's the end of the fixer. But what was left ought to have stopped the development process. I hope everything's worked. over there. Then I need developer. Oh, there's still enough in the bottle. The film has been put in. An A4 size package. Fairly heavy. Either it really is photographic paper, or it's full of dirty mags for the week. Ah, oh, nice. Fifty sheets of top quality photo paper. The sheet is lying in the frame. The distance of the lens from the paper seems fine for the picture to be projected properly. Then let's have a go. The longer I leave the lamp on, the more contrast the picture gets. Let's try it. Okay, I think that's enough time.
that's not going to do too much if there isn't any paper below the lens. The sheet is lying in the frame. The distance of the lens from the paper seems fine for the picture to be projected properly. Okay then, let's try again. I have to measure the exposure time exactly. Too short and there won't be enough contrast. Too long will give me too much. Okay, I think that's enough time. sheet out. Yes, I've really got it now. Brightness and contrast are correct. If Fuller only had any idea about photography, then maybe even the picture would be good too. Maybe the next one. This could well take some time. 36 pictures and not one of them actually any good. How can a guy take a beautiful woman like Angelina and then photograph her so badly? But I can't do much about that. The pics have been snapped and I gotta take them to her at the hotel. At least I get to see her again. And it's also not my fault that the pictures are bad. What the? Mrs. Biba? Mrs. Biber? Uh, no, not at the moment. Then, uh, then, can you give him this? Give it to him personally. As soon as he gets back, I, I gotta go. I feel sorry for her. There's something not right going on here. Could it help me get one over on Fuller? Huh. But I can't put Mrs. Biber in danger. She gives the impression she can't take much more. If I could secretly open the envelope, then, then I could look at what's inside and put the envelope in the mailbox later. That would keep Mrs. Biber out of trouble. But how can I open the envelope and close it again without Fuller noticing? The water 
isn't boiling yet. That's where mom indulged herself. send Fuller off to jail for blackmail. But first I gotta find out what he's blackmailing Mrs. Biber with. But tomorrow's another day. I'll put the letter in Fuller's mailbox and get myself ready for my date with Angelina. Excuse me. Yes, please. You know my mother, Rebecca Michaels? Rebecca? Well, of course! We sit together on the tourist board! You're her son? How is she? Not good, I'm afraid. She's lying in the hospital. She had a fall. Oh, my dear boy, that's... I'll let my wife know right away. We'll send her a card. Well... If you like. So what are you doing here, then? Shouldn't you be with your mother? I'm going to go see her again later. Well, please, give her our best wishes. Yes, of course. Does the hotel belong to you? Oh, it sure does. My grandfather built it, and I've been running it for the past 15 years. Do you live here with your family? It's like this. The guests value the quiet family atmosphere here. It really is something quite special to stay in a small, family-run hotel. I can't bear those awful tower block hotels in the holiday resorts. And at some point, your children will take over the running of it? Yes, I hope so. My daughter's studying to be a hotelier in Switzerland. <laughs> I only hope that our hotel here doesn't end up being too small and provincial for her. Uh, my son, <laughs> he's got rather different interests. What's he doing then? Now, he's a musician. Really? Yes. He even thinks he can make a living out of it. <laughs> Some people live very nicely from it. What does he play? He plays an electric bass in a, in a band. I, I think it's called punk rock. And you're worried about that? I don't want to talk to him at the moment. I should be looking after my mother or beating the crap out of Fuller's fat face. But instead, I'm standing here with a stomach full of butterflies. I don't know what it is about her. But, man, I got it bad. All right. Let's go. Come in. Hello, Angelina. Uh, have I come 
at a bad time. No, no, come in. I've got the pictures with me. Here. Oh, great. Uh, to be honest, it's anything other than great. The wrong lighting, pathetic composition. Fuller has really no idea what he's doing. I thought that might be the case. I'm sure they would have been better if you'd taken them. How would you take my picture? Uh, well, <laughs> um, your face should... Well, um... Just do it! Huh? Don't tell me that you, the would-be star photographer, haven't got a camera with you. Uh, sure, <laughs> of course. Come on, then. I still need a present for my parents' wedding anniversary. Very nice. Uh, the, the light is perfect. Have you been living here long? Oh, uh, I don't live here at all. I study in Boston. My mom just bought a house here a few months ago. What, uh, w what brings you here? Uh, look over that way. Yeah, like that. Uh, are you an actress or something like that? You got it. I'm a famous English actress on my way to Hollywood. No, but seriously. I study literature and history in England. I'm interested in English immigrants in America. Their aspirations, their dreams, their reality. Wow, that's interesting. If you say so, we'll see. I wanted to drift a bit, collect some life stories. I don't yet know exactly how I should organize the work. My mother's from England, too. Uh, she came over here more than 20 years ago. Really? Do you think I could talk to her? That isn't possible at the moment. Th that's a very pretty bracelet. Oh, thank you. I got it from my grandmother. She was always there for me. Unfortunately, she died last year. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Thanks, but you don't need to be. She was very ill at the end, you know? It was a relief for her. She gave me this bracelet shortly before she died. I'm sure you'll find it silly, but I always have the feeling that she's near me and looks after me. Perhaps we could do a few more special pictures for your portfolio. I always wanted to have a few photos of myself as a model. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> what did you have in mind? it. The film is full. Oh, shame. It's just getting warmed up. Hmm. What do you say we go for a meal? I... Uh, actually, I'm not hungry yet, um, but... <laughs> Tonight. In the diner. I'll pay. In return for the photos, okay? Um, yes. Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, then. See you tonight. Can you develop the pictures by then? Yeah, um, yeah, no problem. I'm looking forward to it. Jeez, that was certainly something. Yes, Miss Angelina Morgan has a room here. Would you like to leave her a message, or would you like to go out? How many nights has she booked? No more pictures on the film. I'm sorry, sir, but you'll have to ask Miss Morgan herself. I can't. All right. Brown comb back hair, a long straight nose, eyes close together. 
which room is she in then? I'll inform her that you're here. Mr. That won't be necessary. I'll come back later. Thin lips, sallow skin, angular face, pointed chin. But please, don't tell her I was here. It's supposed to be a surprise. I... Hello? What's wrong? Sir? And he's gone. What does this guy want? Excuse me. Yes, please. Since when has Miss Morgan been staying here? Hmm. You seem to be her friend. Ask her yourself. We run a very discreet hotel here. Would that be the case if I were to leave a 20 on your counter? Sorry. Ah, uh, nothing. This guy, uh, the one who was asking about Miss Morgan, had you seen him before? Sorry, no. I, he came in and asked me a few questions, and then he disappeared. A strange fellow. Do you know him? No, but I think he shouldn't be letting near Miss Morgan. Of course not. I call upstairs, and only when the young lady agrees do I let him up. And he can't come creeping around here? Well, that possibility can't be completely excluded, but you can only open the doors from outside with a key. Hmm. Oh, great. I need to develop the pictures before my date, but I can't get into Fuller's dark room anymore, so I'll have to get by with just domestic items. Mom's bathroom will make a great substitute dark room. I've still got the remains of the photo paper, and I've got developer. I need a red light, two flat dishes, and a little acid to use as a fixer. And something to do the exposing with. A projector, for example. I'll write everything down so I don't forget anything. <sighs> what a day. Take a look around. 
buy something? Uh, thanks. Ah, a young man. You a soldier? Um... A bit slow on the uptake. Have you served? Sir. No, sir. Ah, so you want to put me on, do you? Find something for yourself and then beat it. junk shop owner. He appears to be blind. Maybe he's just putting it on. That would fit with the cliche. Tell me. In Iraq, uh, the war finished two years ago. Well, you don't say. Read my lips. President Bush is going to bring that son to justice. Sure. You know that uh, Bush is no longer the president, right? Well, he'll still bring him to justice. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. Sure. Do you know Fuller? That idiot next door? Sure I do. You can never choose your neighbors, can you? You don't seem to like him. That guy hasn't done one damn decent thing in his life. Lazy bastard just sits around in his store, has his mommy wipe his ass for him, and lets the place fall apart down around his ears. Heed my words. He represents everything that's wrong with this country. You got that right. From World War II, everything's just been downhill, yeah? Pity we haven't got any decent wars still going on. They've even ditched the draft. Go ahead. You just make fun of it all, boy. A good licking or a couple of tours in Vietnam, that wouldn't be such a... Uh, what do you mean, such a... Ah, nothing. The guy's a pig. There's something not right about him. He's hiding something, I'm telling you. And who are you? Is this your shop? No! I just busted in here and you've surprised me, just as I was about to clear the place out. Oh, how amusing. How long you been waiting to roll that one out? Your generation lacks respect for its elders. I fought for you to live here. I spilled my blood for you. And I'll pay your pension. So we're quits, Mr... Edward D. Warren. Ed for short. Or Eddie to my friends. Hello, Eddie. I'm Darren. Nice shop you got here. In my time, it wasn't customary to speak to older folks using their first name. But we're living in my time now, aren't we, Ed? I think you should find whatever it is you're after and then scram. Just like I thought. Play the good citizen, but still chase after every dollar, like the devil chases souls. Um... Come on, what then? So, what's life like here in Biddeford? Well, you're not from around here? Uh, no. I go to College of Boston. Oh, so you're an intellectual then. Some sort of desk guy, an egghead who just talks clever all day? No, I'm... Then you're the artistic type. Some depressive junkie. You're fixing your problems with a self-help group, right? No, I'm studying physics. Hmm. Well, we sure need that stuff. So what brings you here? I'm visiting my mother over the semester vacation. She's been living here a few months now. Rebecca Michaels? Oh, well, nice to meet you, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, man. My mother's in the hospital here. And? Do you think she'll be in good hands there? Well, is she sick? Uh, she won't be in bad hands if she's in a hospital. No. I meant, are the doctors here any good? Well, how should I know? Do you think just because I'm old, I run off to the doctor and complain every day? I haven't been to see no quack in years. I'm as fit as a fiddle. Yeah, yeah. People were made of better, stronger stuff in the past, right? Yeah, yeah. Get to my age and then we'll talk about it. About the slide projector over there? I won't sell. Could... 
could you perhaps lend it to me? <laughs> Why should I? Because you want to help a young man trying to improve himself. <laughs> you know my mother by any chance? <laughs> uh, nope. I don't get out much. What you doing here? Uh, fresh sea air and all that? You could say that, yeah. A quiet place to retire. About the slide I won't sail. could uh, <laughs> be kind. An old radio. Looks like a piece of pro equipment. Are you a radio hobbyist? Radio hobbyist? You mean one of those idiots who thinks it's Nito Mosquito when they have another idiot on the air who only lives two blocks away? I was a wireless operator with the Hell's Devils, 8th Infantry Regiment of the 4th U.S. Infantry Division. I was there in North Africa, and in Sicily, then in Normandy on Utah Beach. I was wounded on the run. That was my eyes. And I got a purple heart for it all. And so, are you still a radio guy or not? I'm keeping the tradition alive. I talk to old buddies real regular. Can reach them anywhere. I'd say I'm kind of an expert. Keep my things in good working order. Always prepared. Ah, uh, okay. Good to know. Um. Come on, what then? How do you get on? I'm blind. How the hell do you think I get on? You idiot. Does it hinder you a lot? Well, sometimes. If I need to look something up. Hey, Look here. I'm supposed to figure out what this coin's worth, and I got no idea. Yeah, it's a rare piece, but it's pretty worn out. Can I help you with it? Oh, sure, kid. If you think I'll fall for that. I give you the coin, you run out the door like a punk. I ain't stupid. Yeah, yeah. How you getting on with the coin? You got nothing better to do than annoying me? If I find out the price of the coin for you, will you stop behaving like an ass? Hmm. Can't promise. Show it to me. You can keep it in your hand. Woman's profile, a few stars and numbers. Have you got something like a like a coin catalog? Yep, yeah, it's on the counter. Ah, oh, boy. a flowing hair scent wreath reverse from 1793. $2,400. Not bad. $2,400. I'll offer him $800. Seller's an idiot. Thanks. I owe you one. Oh, I'm happy to help old disabled people put one over on the other folks. You're welcome. Perhaps uh, you could do me another favor right away. I, uh, I lost my cane. You've done what? How can you lose a cane? Not how you think. I was playing poker and uh, had a slam dunk hand. But how could I know that that idiot from the hotel had a straight flush? <laughs> you bet your cane and lost. Yeah. But who's got it now? The owner of the Wild Coast Hotel. All right, then. I gotta pass by there anyway, so I'll ask him. Thanks. You know, maybe you ain't so much of an idiot as I thought. Looks very cozy, but you know...
Excuse me. Yes, please? I've heard that you have poker games here every now and again. Could I maybe sit in on a game? I ask you, please, this is a respectable hotel. We don't condone illegal gambling. I'd like to get back into playing poker. I'd be interested in a blind man's white cane as a bet. Yes, nice. <laughs> we sometimes play a little game or two of poker here. But nothing public, quite private. Never for high stakes. Wouldn't you say that for a blind man, a white cane would be quite a high stake? He wanted to bet with it. You know what? I think I'll inform the police about your game. I mean, that can't be right now, can it? You can't take a cane away from a blind man. Well, go ahead and call the cops. I've got nothing to hide. I won the cane fair and square. You, you can ask the other players. If you say so. So what was that again about the, the fair and square win in an illegal gambling game in a respected local hotel? What would Rosie think if I told her about it? What would other people think, in fact? Taking the cane from a blind man. What a devious, slimy character you are. No, please, don't do that. I, I am sorry. I really didn't want the cane, you know. Eddie just didn't have any more dough with him, and he threw it in as a guarantee. How much did he stake on it, then? Oh, it's not worth talking about. What's a hundred bucks, anyway? You seeing him today? I could give you the cane. <laughs> give him my best, and tell him he can consider it a gift from a good old friend. Well, great. I'll take it with me and pass it on to Eddie, then. And give your mother my best when she wakes up. Yeah, yeah. Morning. Come on. Oh, it's you. How do you know that? I thought you were blind. You stink of perfume. Like a whorehouse I once visited in Lille. Smells like teen spirit. Uh, if you say so. You're blind man's king. Well, thanks. You know, you're smarter than you sound. Best put it by the door. Hey, listen, uh, if I can help you out in any way, you just ask. About the slide projector. It ain't for sale. I don't want to buy it. I, I just need it for a while. I want to borrow it. I, I did help you with the coin and got your blind man's cane back. Hmm. That's true. Okay, take the projector, but bring it back today. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it back today and undamaged. Good. Good. keeps of pots and pans and that kind of stuff in these cupboards. Somewhere here there was, aha, a flat dish. Exactly what I need to develop the pictures. Huh. They've come. 
turn out quite well, considering the conditions I had to develop them in. All the stuff that I need for developing is in the bathtub. I hope I won't be needing it for a while. I'm just going to take any slide projector. I wish I could make some reprints of some of the pictures. There's no more photo paper left, but I'm going to keep at least one. visit my mother one more time and then I'll get ready to go out and you think that the guy is following me a student from England why no idea I, look, I didn't say that he is following you I, I only said that he might be perhaps it's me he's following it's all right Darren I didn't mean to upset you what's wrong with you oh I don't know it's just all too much for me at the moment. My mom's in the hospital. There's this thing with England and then this guy. Which thing with England? Yeah. Well, my mom, she gets money from England. A, a village called Willow Creek. Do you know it? Yes. I even know roughly where it is. I think it's a place where my mom worked as a cook. And she still gets money from there? Her plum pudding must be heavenly. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, that's more than 20 years ago. Who's sending her over $1,000 every month? And for what? I found this box next to the bank transfers. Huh. I've never seen it before. And that coat of arms with the three lions? That's an English emblem, isn't it? It is. What exactly are you doing? I just thought you maybe wanted to see what's inside. You know how to open it? There were thousands of these caskets produced in the 19th century. There's a special kind of lock mechanism that's supposed to keep curious people out. Well, it didn't really work. What's inside? A photo. your father? Is there anything written on the back? Black Mirror Castle, Willow Creek, England. What's wrong? My mom. Darren? Do you? Do you think she looks five months pregnant? yesterday. Not anymore. Why? The work atmosphere. I, I quit. Quit? Or were you thrown out? Was there an argument? Why? Has something happened to Fuller? Please say yes. Well, yes. Have you arrested him? 
or did someone beat him up in a dark alley? Would you be happy about that? Only if it was painful. He's dead. He was stabbed to death in the early hours of the morning. We're still counting the wounds. Can you tell us anything about that? No. Nothing you'd find fitting. Someone must have been pretty angry with old Mr. Fuller. How angry were you with him, Darren? So angry that I don't feel sorry that he's dead. But I've got nothing to do with it. Look, I saw him for the last time yesterday afternoon when he threw me out. And you haven't been in the store since then? No. Darren, we found your fingerprints. Of course, I worked there. On the safe. Was that part of your job? Look, what do you want? Where were you last night? I was in Biba's diner with a friend. Correct. Angelina Morgan. You haven't known her very long, have you? Do you have to be engaged if you want to go out with a woman in this town? Very funny. Only if you did know her better, you might be able to explain why Miss Morgan murdered Mr. Fuller. Uh, what? She was practically caught red-handed. Practically? She was standing over Mr. Fuller's corpse, covered in blood. The whole thing could have only been clear if we had a notarized, certified video of the murder. That's crazy. Perhaps she found Fuller dead and wanted to help him. That's what she claims, too. And what was she doing in Fuller's store in the middle of the night? What do I know? Ask her. We have. She says she was told to go there by a man on the phone. By the guy following her? Correct. By a stranger. That's why I'm here. Miss Morgan says that you told her about... about her... pursuer. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the hotel owner saw him, too. I've already been to see him. He confirmed that someone was asking after Miss Morgan, but he couldn't give us a proper description. Did you get a proper look at the man? I did. Um, his eyes are close together, and... Not here. Come down to the station. We can do a photo fit there. What about Angelina? Yeah. Well, let's see what the guy you saw has to say about all this. Give me a break. If he was the one who called, he's not going to admit it. If there was a call in the first place, please, come as soon as possible. We need that photo fit. was higher. Like that, perhaps? No, it was more... Can't you just let me have a go at it? Sure. Look, here are the various chin shapes and eyebrows and so on. Yeah, I was watching you. I get the idea, okay? You can change things using the arrows. When you're happy with it, click on save. All right, I've got it. Okay, okay. Let me know when you're finished. Hmm. Okay. The quicker the police find this guy, the quicker I can help Angelina. What did he look like again?
him. The guy that followed me and Angelina looked like that. Hmm. I don't know him. Perhaps a tourist. You also said he spoke with an accent. Exactly. What now? We'll post the pictures around town and invite the gentleman in for a talk. And Angelina? Yes, well, she's... Oh, Angelina! Darren! It wasn't me! You've got to get me out of here! They want to pin this on me! I know, but, but we'll get this sorted out. They want to charge me this afternoon! You've got to... You've got to somehow... Come on, Miss Morgan. Darren! I'll get you out of here. I'll think of something. Come on, Darren. Leave me alone. I'm going to find out what's going on here. She is innocent. What was her motive? That's the thing. We don't know. Look, others had a motive. Full of blackmailed people. Is that so? It, Mrs. Biba from the diner, she paid Fuller. Lots of money. How do you know that? Is that important? She had a motive. And, and what about that guy? He was at Fuller's yesterday. We didn't find any money in Fuller's store, and this gentleman's a witness. Nothing else. As far as the alleged blackmailing is concerned, have you any evidence? Evidence? Ask Mrs. Biba. And she's gonna tell us if she was blackmailed by Fuller? She... Put her under pressure. Based on your speculation? No, that's not enough. We need evidence. Or at least something that would suggest blackmail before we can move on it. And until then, our only suspect is over there behind bars. Fine. Then I'll get a hold of the evidence. Where do I start? I need evidence that Fuller was a blackmailer. But what did he blackmail Mrs. Biber with? And was it just her or were the others? I bet the secret door in his basement has something to do with it. But how do I open it? Has Fuller still got the key on him? I've got to find out. <laughs> what piss-awful weather. Suppose it's fitting somehow.